Black and white bikes are timeless. Yellow bikes are fast, and red bikes are faster. But purple is the best color for a bike, and you can't change my mind. Just as we all know the law of gravity by heart, Max from Berlin also agrees with the undisputed law of nature that purple is the best color for bikes with his handmade Italian purple people eater for Jean. Now let's take a deeper dive in this cosmic query as to why purple is the best color for a bike in this fixed gear bike check. Speaking of purple bikes, the reasonably dangerous purple Wabi specials are finally on the way and they should drop sometime in May. The wait will definitely be worth it because Wabi specials are really dope, purple is really dope, so if you just put them together, that just makes a super dope bike. It's just basic math. According to my YouTube stats, about 54% of you watching this video right now aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So if you find that you like this video, do yourself a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can watch more fixed gear videos just like this one. After first getting sold a bike that was too small for him and then riding a bike that was too shit for him, Max from Berlin decided that it was finally time to build a bike that was fit for him and his ever-increasing tastes for the finer things of the cycling world. After contacting some local custom frame builders, one of them told him, nah dude, I'm not gonna build you a bike. I've got something better for you than a hand-built German track bike. I've got a frame set that's just your size and best part, it's purple. I wasn't there at the time, but I imagine that Max immediately just slammed down the briefcase of 100 euro bills that are necessary to procure such a fine piece of art. Fajin is one of the bike companies that sprung up from the glory days of bike racing. You know, a time before all the fans found out that all their favorite racers are taking steroids. One that is still producing handmade Italian track bikes today. And this purple Fajin harkens back to those glory days of passionately crafted Italian masterpieces complete with a fully lugged construction, elegant Columbus chromer tubing, and squisito details for the discerning cyclist from the lugged straight blade fork that telegraphs this ain't your no nose track bike to the stamped and gloriously accented fork crown and bottom bracket lug that ensures this bike will be recognized as pure quality for generations. And the fact that the bottom bracket stamp proudly proclaims made in Italy in golden Italian lettering only further drives the point home that yes this bike has an Italian name and yes it does indeed need a passport to visit China unlike most other quote Italian track bikes these days. This bike was built by a gray-haired Italian master crafts and made Massimo that looks like your uncle and eats shrimp pasta in between building bikes. And that's only the second best thing about this bike. Most importantly, this track frame set is finished in the only color worthy of such excellence. Each color innately communicates a wealth of emotion. This one, it's so mysterious without being pretentious, so original without being offensive, so sophisticated without being square, perfectly accentuated with lettering and lug detailing fit for a king. And rightly so, because we live in a small sliver of human history where the color purple isn't worth more than its weight in gold. The color purple commands so much respect that bike thieves often choose to pass over purple bikes at the bike rack and steal a different colored bike instead. When I was in college, I used to lock my purple bike up at campus, which is the worst place for bike theft in the world. Overnight, the worst time for bike theft in the world. And not once has anybody tried to steal my purple bike. I like to think that it's at least in part that thieves don't want to steal a purple bike because once they look at a purple bike, they think, whoa, you don't want to mess with that one. That one clearly belongs to a badass. Either that or it's easy to track them and hard to resell. Moving up to the front end, we have custom Junkies flat bars finished with OLC Kirin grips attached to a negative sloping Nitto Technomic stem that's so classy that it'd make you think that your own name is Massimo. In the rear, we have a BLB Not a Mike Super Type Aero C post with a Cella Italia Turbo for a sporty yet plush fit and finish like the interior of a Lamborghini Gallardo. Pedaling the bike is a set of MKS Sylvan tracks matched with some swanky MKS stainless steel toe clip 
clips and BLB leather double straps for utmost comfort and security, like the seat belt of said Lamborghini Gallardo, perfectly complementing the purple finish, unlike any other color, with a mix of silver and black components, giving the build a sense of refinement without sacrificing its tenacity, like a purple Lamborghini Gallardo, which is incidentally the best color and the best name for a car. Purple is such a dope color for a bike that not once, but twice, people have stopped me while I was riding my purple bike and offered to buy it off of me on the spot. One of those people was this girl and I told her that I wouldn't sell her my purple bike because it's just too dope and I don't want to get rid of it. So instead she asked if she could pay me to build a bike just like mine. Even now that my 69 year old dad is riding the purple bike, he regularly gets compliments when he takes it out for a spin. Nothing of the sort has ever happened to me while riding a bike of a different color. Sure, I've gotten, hey, sick fixie bro, but I've never gotten, dang dude, that's a dope bike, like I did while riding my purple bike. It taught me that there's two types of people in the world. People that really like the color purple and people with bad taste. For the drivetrain, we have a set of the classically inspired BLB Super Pista Cranks, paired with the Zugino bottom bracket and the recently endangered 48 tooth Omnium chainring. The cog is a 16 tooth BLB Chromo cog, making for a scant three skid patches to burn through rubber faster than me at your mom's house after I showed her my purple bike. Can I say that? <laughs> I'm keeping it. Purple has no time for pussy footers. The drivetrain is linked together with a gold Izumi jet black chain. The best color for a chain. Seriously, if you don't have a gold chain on your bike, put one on, I guarantee you it will instantly look better. Boldly complementing the finish to add just that right amount of pop while maintaining its dignified position. The wheels are the not too deep yet not too shallow 28 mil Mike Express wheels, which sound more like an espresso machine than a wheel set, laced to made in Italy Mike hubs. The wheels are wrapped in 25mm continental gator skins because riding bikes is more fun than fixing bikes. There is no doubt about it, purple is the best color for a bike, and this Fajin track bike is a prime example of the power of purple. It can be built playfully and cleanly with silver components, or aggressively and powerfully with black components. It's regal, it's mystifying, it's daring, it's a theft deterrent, it makes you more appealing to prospective lovers. It is the perfect color for a bike, and you can't change my mind. If you want to have your fix here featured in this weekly bike check series, check out the instructions on how to do just that in the description. And speaking of dope purple bikes, this portion of the video is sponsored by Wobby Cycles and Purple Wobby Specials will be here in May. Part of what makes Wobbies worthy of the color purple, every one of Wobby's design choices are meticulously made to give the purest ride quality for the money. And Wabi executes those choices perfectly. Hands made by master craftsmen in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that's eager to answer your questions and get you on a bike you'll love. Wabi's relentless attention to detail makes Wallace my 58 centimeter Wabi special weigh in at a slight 17.5 pounds or 7.97 kilograms straight out of the box. That's well under 20 pounds for a stock bike with a completely steel lugged frame set and absolutely no carbon components. This attention to detail results in the best riding experience I've ever had with a snappy, lively ride quality that only top tier steel can bring. If you're looking for a bike that could very well put an end to your search for the perfect bike. Check out Wobby Cycles linked at the top of the description. And if you can be patient, wait until May for Purple Wobby Specials to make those nearly perfect bikes all that much more perfect. At Fixie Fame, shoutouts to Brandon Black, Kelvin Ho, Zane Kolnick, OC Bike Crew, Ryan Witz, Stan Strong 108, and Julian Corona for helping to make these fixed gear videos possible through their support on Patreon. And remember that life is short, but don't make it shorter, so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.